Wow, wow, wow. Halfway through training. Well, not even halfway through, I've just started. And a muscle food box turns up. What's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Drop a like if you're excited for the video. We are going to be doing a chest that was more like a push day walkthrough. We're going to be doing a walkthrough in the home gym, so drop a like if you are excited. Let's get it started. know I have started a new plan. Five days instead of six, it's nothing like upper lower, it's nothing like push pull legs, it's something completely new, it's something completely different. Now as I've already explained before, just because it's different doesn't mean it's bad. If anything, it being different means it's good. It's different for me mentally, it feels different for me physically. The pumps from this plan have been different. The pumps from this plan have been better, purely because there's more volume, purely because the exercises, I don't know whether it just suits me better or what, but it's going really freaking well. Bench press for 8 reps has gone down to 80 kilos. Bearing in mind I have lost around about 16, 17 pounds in total since I was benching 90 for reps. That's not too bad at all. Plus, as you guys know, I'm slowly widening my bench press grip in order to focus more on the chest and less on the triceps, less on the shoulders. So, that has meant we've had to sacrifice some weight because that's not what I'm used to. But, it's all part of the process. You've got to trust it. You've got to keep moving forward. The other thing I've had to kind of get used to with this plan is not necessarily to do with the plan and I'm not going to lie to you guys, it, it's a pretty negative and pretty taxing thing on, on me anyway. So basically because of how my job works, I work shifts whether that's really early in the morning or really late at night, you know I could start work at 5am but then finish at 1 or 2pm. I could also start work at 2pm but then finish at like half past 10 and so I don't get home until gone 11 o'clock which means I'm not going to be training at that point in time. So it pretty much means on days like today I have to actually set an alarm to get up in time because I have to leave the house at 1 o'clock. I'm not going to lie to you guys, if I didn't set that alarm, I would sleep. I would just sleep until, you know, maybe half 10, 11, 12 sometimes if I'm even that tired. Like, I will. And if you've been a student, you know that you get into that habit and it's really freaking hard to break. Since graduating, I think I did actually break that habit. But because there's no real structure, there's no set days that I'm in, there's no set time. You know, it's not a Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. It basically basically means that on days like today, I have to set an alarm for like 9 o'clock and people are going to be like, well, Liam, set an alarm for 9 o'clock, what's the big deal? Thing is though, when I have to set an alarm to get up and train, that's when it becomes a chore for me. I love training, it's my favourite thing to do, but it's a hobby. And so if I have to start setting alarms to wake up, and nobody likes setting alarms. If I have to start doing that and setting alarms to actually get up and train, that becomes a chore to me. Once it becomes a chore, it becomes difficult to kind of stick to it. You know what I said a couple of videos ago about always having a smile on your face? As long as you are excited to train when you come in and finish with a smile on your face, then you're good, right? That tends to not happen in situations like this when I have to set an alarm to get up. And the thing that's most irritating and to be honest the most difficult thing for me to kind of get my head around is the fact that because of the time limit everything has to be condensed like my day today has to be finished by one o'clock because that's when I have to leave so I have to have got up, trained, showered, got ready for work, made my food by one o'clock to leave to get to work for two o'clock. That's not really a lot of time, nine, ten, it's like three hours to train. Bear in mind I've trained for like two hours and so the only real solution for me is to train fasted and that is something that I just hate to do. But saying that, it is my only option. I need that amount of sleep. I can't be setting an alarm at 8 o'clock to get up to train because that would just...
with my head completely. So instead getting up at like half past nine and then training about half past 10, 11, gives me enough time to kind of wake up. I'll take some pre-workout as well just to give me that extra boost. But I'm the kind of guy that likes training with two, maybe even three meals in me. And the fact that I have to train fasted it plays on my mind mentally a lot, and so I go into the workout thinking, God, I'm gonna be weak today, I'm not gonna have a good session, my pump's gonna be crap. You know, I just have these things running and running and running through my head, and to be honest, it's quite difficult. Now, I know there's gonna be people watching this going, Liam, for God's sake, just get up and train, like, what's the big deal? My habits are kind of set in stone. <laughs> Ever since I've trained, I've been at uni, and so I've had the laid-back university lifestyle. I can get up, train when I want, do the work when I have to, and then, you know, go out at the night, maybe wake up, have some water, train when I like the next day. That right now is not, it's not even close. It's so far, so far away from that, that I have to plan structure and I actually have to make plans. To me, that's odd, I've never had to do that before. And to you guys watching, some people are probably screaming right now, going, Liam, for God's sake, just do it, it's not that hard. And you're right, you are, you're absolutely right. But the thing you have to bear in mind is that my training habits have been set in stone ever since university. I started training at university, so my habits when it comes to training have come from university. And so that mentality of it being laid back, that mentality of me being able to train when I want, is set in stone, it's mental. So now I've graduated, I have a job, it's difficult for me to kind of change those habits. And I've been working for about three months now, so it's a long time, but I'm still not there. I'm getting there, I'm starting to learn that balance, and I've actually kind of got like an early shift day routine and a late shift day routine. So like today is a late shift day, so I'll wake up at about half past nine, I'll train now, I'll shower, and I'll go to work. But that'll have to be fasted. On an early shift, I'll wake up at about four, leave the house for five, I'll get to work for about six, but then I'll be home by sort of three o'clock. I can then get home, train straight away, no problem. The early shift is a lot easier. I can have food in me, I can, ju I can just do whatever. Whereas with the late shift, I have to set an alarm to actually get up and it, it sounds stupid but it's just one of those things it's just how it is sometimes you just got to do what you got to do whatever it takes Okay, so today's post-workout meal, if you like, to break the fast will be some of Lean Active's chocolate fudge whey isolate. Mixing that with around about 200 to 250 mils of semi-skimmed milk. Uh, chocolate orange is actually my favorite flavor, but I've run out of chocolate orange, and so, oh, that's good. Full scoop, like so. There we go. Okay, right. I don't actually mention Lean Specifically, I don't want to feel like I'm shoving it down your throats all the time, but Links and discount codes and all that kind of stuff to lean is in the description box of every single video. Check it out mm. You know Driving to work is actually one of my favorite things to do. I can kind of just zone out, like I know the road really well, so I can kind of just zone out, I can just drive and sing and just be happy, do you know what I mean? Um, that, however, is on days when I am on time. On days like today, and I'm in a rush, I have to drive at a very sensible speed in order to get to work on time. Let's go. every now and then but even I was a bit nervous about the one last night wasn't I yeah it was a sort of velvet red top and PVC trousers yes um they were quite noisy this is the sound of Molly walking down a corridor Keep dancing. 
Jason. Oh. All right. Bum, 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 ba, dum, dum. Can't stop the Let's tango, baby. Pretty lady. Let's tango, baby. Why you always for me? I'm lost. I'm lost. See what I mean? Still find time for a sing along, man. That song, uh, that last song that you guys just heard reminds me of uni. It reminds me of being, you know, in the club dancing. I'll be right. Hang on. Eh, eh, eh. Reminds me of that. Good times, man. Good memories. Good memories. What I would do to go back there right now. Anyway, I have to bugger off to work for a little while, so I'll see you guys later.